Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 103 for the Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about your website link settings. And the settings that I'm going to talk about are things like changing the color and changing whether a link has an underline under it or not. So those will be the main things that I'll talk about. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your toolbar and select the text tool. And once you select the text tool, click anywhere in your workspace, and we're going to write Web Design Tutorials. And we're just going to write something simple like that. And then let's go ahead and right click this text and select the option that says Web Properties. And we click on Web Properties, you're going to look for the tab that says Website. And when you find a Website tab, go ahead and left click on that. And then at the very bottom of this page, well, not quite exactly the complete bottom but somewhere near the bottom you'll see that it says website link colors and then you have the first option here that says underline text links and if you don't want to underline your links then you would just uncheck that that option just left click on that and it will uncheck it but if you do want to have underlines you would leave that checked and then the next thing that I want to talk about is these last three options here mouse off color mouse over color and visited color the mouse off color is the color that people will see when they don't have their cursor over that link. So this is a color that will display when you don't have your cursor over the link. The mouse over color is the color that you will see when you place your cursor over that link when you're on the website. And then the last option here is the visited color. And if you've visited a link before, the way that you'll know you visited that link is that you'll see this color, which in this case is purple, and so when you see the color purple on your website, let's say that you went to your website and you clicked on a link, and then you came back to that same page that had that link on it, it would show up as purple because it's a visited link, or a visited color would be purple in this case. So that's what those three sections mean. And if you click on any of the drop-down menus for any of these sections, you can choose custom, and that will allow you to give it a custom color. So let's go ahead and left-click that for the mouse off color, and then hit edit and we'll give it something that's very noticeable we'll make it like a bright orange or red somewhere in that in that range so our mouse off color is going to be orange and I'll just leave the mouse over color as the same and for visited color I'll leave that the same because the same concepts are going to apply for any of these colors you just simply click the drop down menu click custom and then hit edit and choose your color or you could just click the edit button and you could pick the color you really don't have to set it to custom but you can pick whatever color you want in here and I think you get the general idea of what you need to do it automatically sets it to custom so that's the reason that you don't have to click that drop down menu but I'm gonna set it back to web default hit apply and then I'm gonna give this text here a link so let's click on a link tab the first tab here in our web properties and click in the link web or email address and when you click in there we're going to write in a website. So I'm just going to write in my personal website, xartemplate.com, hit apply, and it's going to apply that link. And you can see in our workspace that it made that link orange. And if we go to our uh, website tab again, in our web properties here, and we go to that option that says underline text links, if we left click that and hit apply, you see that the underline disappears in our workspace and it's no longer there and to set that back we just left click it again hit apply and it will place it back in position so I really don't have to show you a preview of this you can already see in our workspace that if we change the mouse off color it's going to show it in our workspace now for the mouse over color you would have to go to your web browser so let's go ahead and change the mouse over color and we'll make it again something that's really noticeable like a bright green and we're going to hit apply and hit OK and then let's go to File, Preview Web Page. And I'm going to actually preview this in my web browser. And when you get to the web browser, you'll see the proper color. I know in the preview it didn't show it correctly, which is one of the reasons that I always try to preview my website in my web browser because it'll show you the true view of what everything will look like. But in this case, you'll see that the mouse off color is orange, and if we place our cursor over it, it turns to this bright kind of greenish color. So I think that pretty much shows you how to use website link colors and also how to underline text links or not. It's pretty much up to you. 
there is one other thing I want to show you if we right click on this and go to web properties and we go to the website link tab well not website link tab but the website tab in our web properties let's click on that there is one other thing that you can do for the mouse off color we can set it to none for the mouse over color we can set it to none and the visited color we can set it to none and when you set anything to none it's going to basically take on whatever color that is set in our, our workspace so let me go ahead and hit apply and you'll notice that it turns to black because the default color in our in our workspace is usually black but if we go ahead and we go to our color editor here in the bottom left hand corner and bring that up and change the color of this text we can make it whatever color we want let's maybe make it a, a blue and let's go ahead and close that out and go to file preview web page and then I'm gonna go to my web browser and you'll see that it's blue and even if I place my cursor over it it's gonna be blue so when you change it to none it's gonna take on whatever value that you have it set for in your workspace so if you make it orange red purple green whatever color you want it's gonna stay that color whether you have it on the mouse off state if you have it on the mouse over state it's gonna stay the same color if you have it set for the visited color it's gonna stay whatever color you set in the document but if we go back to our, our workspace here and go back to our web properties I just want to make one, one note of one thing go ahead and go back to the website tab and under the website tab we can actually give some of these colors and we can leave some of them to none so if you leave the mouse off color to be whatever you have it set in your your design then for the other colors we can set it for whatever we want so maybe we want to have a mouse over color so we would set it to the web default but for the mouse off color we don't want it so you can set that however you want I think you again get the general idea I hope that this tutorial was helpful if it was give me thumbs up and bed subscribe or share and I hope that you stay tuned for future videos and also let me know if you have any tutorial requests if I forgot any of your tutorial requests please let me know it is my best intention to make sure that I have covered everybody's tutorial that they want so if I didn't get you a tutorial yet and you've been waiting for me please let me know anyway have a great day